Well, can we all agree that the PlayStation 2 is one of the best consoles ever? It gave us a massive library of games, and even today, we're finding some ultra-rare gems that are just too damn good from every angle possible. In today's video, we're going down the rabbit hole to bring you some amazing, lesser-known titles that will provide some mindless hack-and-slash fun, but they don't get enough limelight from the gaming community. Before we dive into the details of today's topic, please show us some support by liking and subscribing. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. Berserk Millennium Falcon In the realm of video game adaptations of manga, few titles have managed to capture the essence of their source material as effectively as Berserk Millennium Falcon. This game, a sequel to Sword of the Berserk, was released in 2004 and developed by Yuki Media Creations. Despite its quality, it remains a somewhat hidden gem, primarily due to its Japanese exclusivity. The game has made significant strides over its predecessor, offering a more refined gameplay experience. The level-up system and an overhauled save system add depth to the gameplay. However, the game's expansive levels sometimes lead to lengthy fetch quests, which can detract from the overall experience. The combat system is dynamic, with a rage system and a variety of weapons for the protagonist guts to wield. The leap in graphics and animation from the Dreamcast to the PS2 version is remarkable. Detailed character models and motion-captured cutscenes add a layer of realism and emotional depth. The protagonist Guts is particularly well rendered with animations that effectively convey his character's emotions. The soundtrack, led by Shinichi Komoti and a team of composers, is haunting and complements the game's dark atmosphere. It rivals many survival horror games in its ability to set a mood and enhance the gaming experience. The game's Japanese exclusivity presents challenges for non-Japanese players. However, methods such as using emulators or applying English patches to the game's ISO are suggested to overcome these barriers. Ghost Rider well, in PlayStation 2, there were many God of War and Devil May Cry clones, but Ghost Rider emerges as a title that, while being a clear derivative of the Devil May Cry series, stands out for its own merits. Often, being a clone or heavily inspired by another game is seen negatively, but Ghost Rider manages to transcend this label by excelling as a Western action game. From the outset, Ghost Rider impresses with its enjoyable gameplay. It offers a decent array of combos and satisfying combat feedback, allowing for fluid and engaging battles. The game avoids common pitfalls of bad action games, such as poor combat feedback and awkward movement. The leveling system is well implemented, providing new moves without being intrusive or overly time-consuming. The combat is enjoyable with tight timings and a system that rewards skill and learning. The game's progression system is praised for not replacing moves, but rather expanding the player's arsenal. However, there's a critique about some moves being replaced which could have been avoided with different input methods. The game's visuals are impressive, especially the lighting effects from Ghost Rider's head. However, performance issues are noted in larger arenas with detailed backgrounds. The fixed camera combat arenas are reminiscent of Devil May Cry 1 and 3 but the lack of a dedicated lock-on system is a point of contention, especially when dealing with certain enemy types. One of the game's unique features is its motorcycle segments, where players drive to the next level. This aspect is well executed, though the motorcycle's handling could be improved. The game also offers post-playthrough content like different skins and the ability to play as Blade, adding replay value. <laughs> Chaos Legion. Chaos Legion for the PlayStation 2 is a game that immerses players in a gothic, medieval European setting filled with demonic adversaries and intense combat. The protagonist, Sieg Warheit, is a dark knight tasked with stopping his former best friend, Victor Delacroix, 
who threatens to unleash a world-ending power. The game's story, while cliched, sets the stage for a brutal and challenging brawler experience. Sieg, armed with a glowing sword and divine magic, exhibits a level of badassery comparable to Dante from Devil May Cry. However, the game stands apart with its unique combat system. Despite a limited range of sword attacks, the thrill of combat is undeniable, especially when facing off against massive enemies. The game's difficulty is notable, with enemies that are relentless and require strategic thinking to defeat. A standout feature of Chaos Legion is the ability to summon legions, supernatural entities that fight alongside Sieg. These legions vary in abilities, from swarming foes with blades to providing long-range support or defensive capabilities. As they gain experience, they can be upgraded to become more powerful and versatile in combat. This system adds a strategic layer to the game, as players must manage their legion's strengths and weaknesses against different enemy types. The game's levels are linear, consisting of small arenas linked by gateways with little room for exploration. Chaos Legion is known for its tough brawling action and steep learning curve. Progressing through the game requires not only defeating all enemies in an area, but also mastering the use of legions. The game's boss battles are particularly challenging, often leading to repeated attempts and frustration. However, this difficulty also adds to the game's replayability as players strive to master its mechanics and fully upgrade their legions. Barbarian Barbarian for PlayStation 2 is a fighting game that attempts to blend elements from classics like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat with the storytelling of Soul Calibur and environmental interactions of Power Stone. Set in a medieval world of fearsome creatures and armored warriors, the game aims to carve a niche in the fighting genre. The game features characters each with their own backstory, embarking on quests to free the land from the tyranny of Zog. The combat system in Barbarian is unique, with a turn-based feel where players take turns executing attacks. Special attacks and the ability to use environmental objects as weapons add some depth, but the overall combat experience is hampered by its lack of flow. Barbarian introduces RPG-like elements, allowing players to upgrade their character's attributes such as life, strength, and speed. This feature adds a layer of depth and customization, making each character's journey feel more personal and engaging. See, I am not going to say that this is the greatest game ever on PS2, it has its flaws, but the thing is, this title tried to do something new at a time when the game development wasn't as easy as it is today. Definitely give this one a spin if you have some time in your hands. Conan the Dark Axe Conan the Dark Axe is an action-adventure game that brings the legendary character Conan to life in a digital format. Known for his appearances in various media, Conan's transition into the video game world aims to capture the essence of his character, a blend of brute strength, loyalty, and justice, wrapped in a primal, barbaric exterior. The game is set in a medieval world, where Conan embarks on a quest for vengeance and justice after finding his village destroyed. The gameplay is a mix of exploration and action with a combat system that relies on button combinations using four buttons. The combat is designed to be more about using the right combo for the situation rather than perfect timing, adding a strategic layer to the melee encounters. The game also features different weapons, each with unique moves and suited for different enemy types, adding variety to the combat. Conan's character model is well-designed, fitting the image of the mighty hero. The game's environments and textures are detailed, contributing to the immersive experience. The fluid animations of both Conan and his enemies enhance the combat and overall gameplay. The sound design in Conan the Dark Axe is a mixed bag. While the music is decent and the voiceovers for Conan and other characters are well executed, the sound effects are repetitive and lack variety. Let her go and see how it feels to fight a strong warrior. This repetition can become noticeable and detract from the game's immersive experience. Well, this game is not for everyone. Let's say that someone who has been exposed only to games like Call of Duty right from the beginning might not enjoy this game. But someone old enough like me, well, I am 35 now, 
who has seen the transition of the gaming in his life and has penchant for barbarian games would definitely enjoy this rare gem. It's tough to find this game unless you are pirating it. Blood Will Tell Blood Will Tell, inspired by the 60s anime series Dororo, is a third-person action game that tells the story of Hyakamaru, a samurai on a quest to regain 48 body parts stolen by demons in his infancy. Accompanied by a young thief named Dororo, Hyakamaru's journey is as much about physical battles as it is about personal discovery and redemption. The game's core revolves around Hayakamaru's combat abilities, which evolve as he regains his body parts from the demons. Each recovered part enhances his attributes and grants new abilities, like seeing in color for the first time or gaining a dash ability. The combat system is based on button combinations, with a focus on using the right combo for each situation. The game also features a variety of weapons, each changing Hayakimaru's attack style and offering unique benefits. Blood Will Tell features a non-linear character progression system, encouraging players to explore levels thoroughly to find hidden fiends and items. This exploration is rewarding, as it not only enhances Hayakimaru's abilities, but also uncovers more of the game's rich storyline. The game's exploration aspect is complemented by the presence of Dororo who can be controlled at certain points and offers a different gameplay experience. The game's visuals are a mix of impressive character models and less remarkable environments. Hyakimaru's design is faithful to his character, and the animations are fluid, enhancing the combat experience. However, the game's environments and backgrounds don't always match the quality of the character model. One of the game's significant challenges is its camera system which can be problematic in platforming and combat sections. The camera issues, while not making the game unplayable, do add an unnecessary layer of difficulty and can be a source of frustration. This is nothing new though. Even the games like Ninja Gaiden that are considered masterpiece of 3D hack and slash era suffer from fixed camera angle problems. Blood Will Tell is a game that despite its flaws offers a compelling narrative and engaging gameplay. The storyline, based on Osamu Tezuka's work, is the game's strongest aspect, driving players to see Hayakamaru's journey through to the end. Nightshade Nightshade, the sequel to Sega's Shinobi, is a testament to the classic arcade-style action games, offering an incredibly challenging experience with unique play mechanics. The game introduces Hibana, a female ninja, as the protagonist, adding a fresh perspective to the Shinobi series while maintaining the spirit of its action-packed predecessors. Nightshade is structured similarly to Shinobi, with linear missions culminating in boss battles. The game's difficulty is notably high, demanding mastery of its specific mechanics. Hibana's ability to fly, double jump, attack with her sword, and execute a stealth dash forms the core gameplay. The game elevates the platforming mechanics of Shinobi, requiring players to leap from enemy to enemy, effectively using them as springboards to continue their airborne assault. The combat in Nightshade revolves around Hibana's sword play and her ability to chain attacks in midair. The game rewards players for killing multiple enemies in sequence, strengthening Hibana's sword and allowing for more powerful attacks. This mechanic is crucial for defeating bosses as standard attacks are less effective. Hibana's arsenal includes ninja magic and various combat moves, each essential for overcoming the game's challenges. The game's environments range from visually impressive ancient temples to more mundane settings like subways and factories. The simplicity of the visuals ensures a smooth frame rate, crucial for the fast-paced action. Hibana's character design, with her ninja armor and flowing scarves, stands out, adding to the game's aesthetic appeal. The English voice acting in Nightshade is competent, and the sound effects are adequate. But I still don't like you. I was never any good with electronics. However, the game's soundtrack is a standout feature, combining traditional Japanese instrumentation with intense rhythms enhancing the gameplay experience. 
Nightshade is known for its punishing difficulty, making it a game for those who relish a hardcore challenge. The game offers multiple difficulty levels, unlockable characters, outfits, and bonus missions, providing significant replay value. The gameplay rewards skill and repetition, demanding dedicated effort to complete. It's a pretty badass of a game, but you need to be ready to face the difficulty. Samurai Western PS2 Samurai Western, developed by Acquire, is a fast-paced action game that diverges from the traditional style of the Way of the Samurai series. Set in the same universe, this title takes players on a journey with Gojiro Kiryu, a samurai who travels to the USA to unravel the mystery behind his brother's abandonment of the Bushido Code. The game's premise is straightforward, yet effective. Gojiro, a righteous samurai, finds himself in a corrupt town and embarks on a mission to defeat every adversary he encounters. The gameplay is centered around intense action, with Gojiro dodging and reflecting bullets and engaging in combat using basic combos, jumps, and special moves. The game also incorporates an RPG-like evolution system, allowing Gojiro to equip different accessories and swords, each offering unique styles and advantages. The game features a reward system that grants points for skillful play, such as dodging bullets and quickly defeating enemies. These points contribute to Gojiro's strength and the discovery of better equipment and hidden bonuses. The evolution system adds depth to the gameplay, allowing for different combat styles and strategies. Samurai Western returns to the serious tone of character design seen in the first Way of the Samurai, avoiding the colorful and absurd characters of its sequel. The voice work is notably strong, especially the portrayal of Gojiro, who speaks Japanese and broken English with a heavy accent, adding authenticity to his character. He will taste the steel of my sword. The game's music blends traditional Japanese tones with Western themes reminiscent of Ennio Morricone's works. Samurai Western is a fun and action-packed game that brings a fresh perspective to the way of the Samurai series. Remove all the inverted commas. Devil King's PS2 Devil Kings emerges as a flashy, fast-paced button masher, drawing inspiration from the Dynasty Warriors series. The game takes a leap into a fantasy action realm, setting itself apart with a blend of humor and accessibility that makes it a delightful experience. Set in a fictional world resembling feudal Japan, Devil Kings features a cast of overpowered warriors, each with a unique and sometimes gimmicky personality and fighting style. The game's story revealed through cutscenes balances humor with serious anime-style sequences, creating an engaging narrative backdrop. Players can choose from six characters initially, with six more unlockable through gameplay. Each character possesses distinct health, attack, and defense stats, improving as you play. Additionally, characters have elemental attributes like darkness, fire, ice, or lightning, influencing their special attacks and weapon enhancements. The character roster includes diverse and intriguing personalities, from the wicked Devil King with his sword and shotgun, to Lady Butterfly, who skillfully wields revolvers and a chain gun. The voice work is commendable, particularly for Gojiro, whose Japanese speech and heavily accented English add depth to his character. One, my lord, finally, throne is in sight. Hmm. In conquest mode, players start with territory and aim to conquer adjacent areas on the map. The prep screen allows for equipping items and assigning abilities, adding an RPG element to the game. Battles are straightforward yet satisfying, with a focus on defeating as many enemies as possible and conserving energy for the boss fights at each stage's end. Combat involves two basic attacks that can be combined into fluid combos. The Fury Drive gauge fills up during combat, enabling powerful super attacks. Each character also has unique aerial attacks, adding variety to the gameplay. The game's enemy variety from standard archers to suicide runners and giants keeps the combat engaging. Devil Kings offers large, well-arranged stages with convincing details like gates, buildings, and natural landscapes. The frame rate remains steady despite the action-packed gameplay. However, the game suffers from a short draw distance and occasional camera issues, which can be frustrating during combat. Devil Kings is a solid action game that doesn't shy away from having fun with its characters. Today's video is finished, guys. If you had fun watching what we did in this video, please show us some love by liking and subscribing. Till next time. Ibana, your mission is complete. So begins my life as a rogue shinobi.
Today's not my day.